The history and value of the 10 new pence 1968 coin in detail. Introduction to the 10 new pence coin. The 10 new pence coin was introduced in 1968 as part of a decimalization process in the United Kingdom, transitioning from the previous system of pounds, shillings, and pence to a decimal currency. This coin played a crucial role in modernizing the British monetary system, aiming to simplify calculations and transactions. Historical Context of Decimalization Background of Decimalization Before decimalization, the British currency was based on the pounds, shillings, and pence system, dating back centuries. This system often led to complicated arithmetic and confusion, especially with multiple denominations and non-decimal divisions. Decision to Decimalize the decision to decimalize was driven by several factors, including economic modernization, alignment with international standards, and simplification for everyday transactions. The government of the time embarked on an extensive educational campaign to prepare the public for the transition. Design and Specifications Coin Design the 10 new pence coin featured a specific design reflective of the era and the artistic choices of the royal mint. Typically, these coins bore the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse, surrounded by relevant inscriptions. Specifications The physical characteristics of the coin, such as its diameter, weight, and composition, are crucial aspects that contribute to its overall value and durability. These specifications are standardized by the Royal Mint and maintained throughout production. Collectability and Value Collectability Factors The collectability of coins depends on various factors, including rarity, historical significance, condition, and demand among collectors. Coins with unique characteristics or limited mintages often attract higher interest and value in the numismatic market. Rarity and Mintage Understanding the mintage figures of the 10 new pence 1968 coin provides insights into its scarcity and potential collectible value. Coins with lower mintages due to production limitations or specific circumstances can become highly sought after by collectors. Condition grading. The condition of a coin significantly affects its market value. Numismatic organizations have established standardized grading scales to assess the wear and preservation of coins accurately. Higher grade coins typically command higher prices due to their superior condition. Market trends and prices. Price fluctuations. The market for collectible coins can be subject to fluctuations based on factors such as economic conditions, collector trends, and specific events affecting numismatic interest. Understanding these dynamics helps collectors and investors make informed decisions. Investment potential. Some collectors view coins as investment assets, considering their potential for appreciation over time. Historical data and expert analysis contribute to evaluating the investment potential of coins like the 10 new pence 1968, taking into account market trends and collector demand. Conclusion The 10 new pence 1968 coin holds both historical significance and collectible value within the numismatic community. Its role in the decimalization of the British currency system underscores its importance in the transition to a more modern and efficient monetary framework. As a collectible item, its value is influenced by factors such as rarity, condition, and market demand, making it a fascinating subject for both collectors and enthusiasts of British coinage history. This comprehensive exploration provides a thorough understanding of the 10 new pence 1968 coin, encompassing its design, historical context, collectability, and market dynamics. Whether as a collector's item or an investment asset, its legacy continues to resonate in the numismatic world, reflecting broader themes of economic change and cultural continuity in the United Kingdom.